Welcome back. Have you ever tried floating as a form of therapy? It's uh, something that's fairly new or new to me. Uh, we have Janet, Jeanette Fessenden joining us on the show. She is with Bl Bliss Float Center. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Yes. Uh, sort of as a separate incidence, I just happened to be at Bliss Float Center this weekend. I tried it out uh, and it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Floating as a form of therapy is not something you would necessarily think of, but it, it is very relaxing. Uh, I had a very positive experience. I was in this uh, little tank, if you would call it that, for about 80 minutes, and, and the lights dim, and you're in there floating on your back with a thousand pounds of Epsom salts, which is what you're seeing there in the, the corner of the screen. Uh, and it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Where yeah, did this idea come good. from? good. I'm glad you had a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, floating's been around since the 50s or so. It was kind of popular till about the 80s and then it faded away. Um, and then the last five years or so, it's really come back with a huge surge of popularity. Mm -hmm. um, just because the list of benefits of floating are pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and so many people are looking for more holistic types of therapy and holistic wellness and self-care. Um, so yeah, floating has really just exploded as an industry across North America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was saying to Jeanette uh, during the break that it is something where you get into the tank and you're floating and you think, can I do this for 80 <laughs> minutes? And so for the first 15, you're sort of getting comfortable and, and trying to relax and then suddenly you go from 15 minutes to an hour and you're thinking, how did this go? Where, did, mm -hmm. where was I? I wasn't mm -hmm. sleeping, but I, you know, it's, it's quite a, a mental departure from reality. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of the most, I guess, obvious benefit of floating is just an opportunity to unplug. So we have a little bit of music and light at the beginning, and then you've got about 80 minutes of quiet and dark in the middle, and then we ease you out of your float with a bit of music and light mm -hmm. um, at the end. But it... Um, the best part of floating is comes from letting go and just letting your brain relax and letting your body relax uh, and that, developing that mind-body connection which can be really powerful mm -hmm. um, and just giving your your brain and your mind a chance to reset and unplug yes mm -hmm. we have some pictures that i think we're going to go to here this awesome. is exactly what it looks like yeah. you step into this what is it about 10 inches of water 10 inches of water yeah and you, you might think oh i'm not going to float 10 a thousand pounds of salt means you're floating mm -hmm. you're floating Yep. And it's lovely. And that light eventually fades down so that mm -hmm. you're in darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, you can either choose to be in a bathing suit or your birthday suit, I understand, mm -hmm. whatever you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And suddenly it becomes dark and it's quiet and you're just in there. It's just, it's lovely. It's serene. You, you can let your mind go. You don't have to think about anything. You can think about whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I got out halfway through and got myself that head pillow. So yeah. I thought I'm going to try that. And yep. I love that. You, oh, can get, you can get in and out like this guy just very yep. easily. Yep. Um, and it's body temperature the water mm -hmm. so you're not too hot you're not too cold you're like at one with your body temperature mm -hmm. it's just a very cool experience yeah it uh, it the, the skin temperature of the, the water is an important part of the experience sure because you lose track of your body mm -hmm. um, and it's quiet and it's dark so that you have no other distractions so it's a tool for deep relaxation and deep meditation it's an opportunity for you to enter that deeply relaxed place it's called the theta wave state is probably where you were Wave. The theta wave. Theta wave. Okay. Yeah, it's that kind of middle brain wave state between waking and sleeping. So that it's a deeply restorative, deeply relaxing place to be. Yes. Um, it's where kind of all the magic of floating happens. I call it right. Yes. Uh, problem solving, creativity, you know, letting things go, working through issues. Um, and then, of course, physically, when you're suspended in the thousand pounds of Epsom salts, it's an opportunity for your body to rest, relax, heal. Um, the Epsom salts themselves are great for reducing inflammation and for um, detox. Um, and the anti-gravity environment itself is, is fantastic for releasing muscle tension, for helps you to increase your body circulation because your body's not fighting against gravity. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. I see a lot of people in uh, with chronic pain conditions like fibromyalgia and arthritis. Mm -hmm. And quite a few people actually, unfortunately, with car, healing from car accidents. Um, just the physical environment gives your body an opportunity to really deeply relax as well. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, it gives your 
your, your brain <laughs> a chance to relax mm -hmm. also at the same time. So that combination is really powerful. How often is it recommended to go? I mean, if you wanted to buy a pass that has several, like a punch of five, like every mm -hmm. week, once a month, what is it? Yeah, the more the better, for yeah, sure. Really. Floating is definitely the type of an experience that gets better the more you do it. The benefits are cumulative. Uh, if, if, you, if your first float helps you reduce your pain, uh, the more often you do it, your pain is going to remain at a, at a pain-reduced level. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it can take a bit of practice to be in a quiet, distraction-free zone and calm your monkey mind. Mm -hmm. So the more you float, the better that you, the more success you have at uh, calming your monkey mind, and you just tend to get into that deeply relaxed theta mm -hmm. wave state of floating faster and faster the mm -hmm. more you float. It's just like anything else in life that's really awesome, like yoga, meditation, working out even. Uh, the more you do it, the more you get out of it for sure. Absolutely. So it's a personal experience. I have a lot of people who float once or twice a month. I try to get in once a week. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> the more the better for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us today. I have yeah. to say it was really a, a very refreshing and new experience for me and I will be back to do it again Perfect. for sure. Great. So, Hope to have you in. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, if you would like to learn more about these folks, uh, blissfloatcenter.ca, that is the phone number. They are located just near Aberdeen Mall, so not far away at all. Information's on the screen. We will be back after a quick break. Stay with us.